how to spend a ton, and I mean tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of sailor loot on your Virgin Voyages cruise. In this video, I'm sharing with you all the things to know about how you can spend your Virgin Voyages onboard credit because there are some that you might know about and some that you might not know about coming up. And if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine Lozada with Where in the World is CL, and I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and go travel. So if you like travel, consider subscribing. I have sailed with Virgin Voyages eight times, and on this voyage, I had a lot of sailor loot. So let's actually start with what the heck is sailor loot? There are three things to know about sailor loot. And the first one is what is it? It's Virgin Voyages version of onboard credit, your money to spend around or things on the ship that Virgin Voyages offers. And the second thing to know is how do you get it? So Virgin Voyages will give you free onboard credit sailor loot when you book with them, generally depending on their promos and deals. I thought I was a tech savvy traveler until I realized that travel agents get a way better deal. So get your quote in the description below. Don't miss out. This is what happened on my last sailing. And the third thing to know, and this is important because a lot of people, ooh, and we'll talk about gambling in a minute, don't realize that it's a use it or lose it. If you don't use all of your sailor loot by the end of your sailing, it's gone. Those are the things to know. Let's talk about the seven ways to use it, starting with my favorite which is eating it. Oh, I'm excited for this one. So there are six restaurants that you can make reservations at on Virgin Voyages, obviously significantly more dining options. But at each of these restaurants, they have the option for some kind of elevated food experience. So for example, one of my favorite thing, oh, what do I start first? Let's start with truffles. I mean, why not? At Extra Virgin, you have the option to have truffles on top of your freshly made pasta, such a delicious option. Or for example, at Gun Bay, you have the option for Wagyu on the grill. That's amazing, it's keeping on steak at the wake. There is an option for tomahawk. I was sailing alone, so it's, I opted for the seafood plateau, which there's a smaller version as well as a larger version. And each of the restaurants will have some kind of elevated food option that you can spend your sailor loot on. But wait, that's not all the things that you can eat. You also have an option for things like ship delivery. So if you want food delivered to your room, there's a nominal fee. You can put that toward your sailor loot, that delivery fee, or even things like, oh, I used to live in New York City and I love going to high tea. The high tea experience on Virgin Voyages is fantastic. You have an option for just the tea and pastry, or you have the option for include a glass of Moet, a fantastic way to spend your sailor loot. Let's talk about drinking, but first, coffee. It's not just alcohol that you can use your sailor loot on. And if you're wondering, what about the bar tab? Bar tab? That's going away. Sailor loot only moving forward. And so your options for non-alcoholic drinks are, oh, I love the Grounds Club. Whether you're going to their upstairs location or to their location on seven, this is your place to grab craft coffee. Obviously, if you want free coffee, you can do that in the galley amongst other restaurants, brunch restaurants like The Wake or Razzle Dazzle. But if you want craft coffee, I love the flat white. I love a cappuccino. I love actually Melissa the whole menu from Grounds Club. And so you can grab one of these coffees with your sailor loot. They also have an espresso martini, just saying. The other option is the juices and the smoothies, which are located around the ship, whether at the dock and dock house, where you can get freshly pressed juices and smoothies, or you're at the athletic club upstairs or one of the pool bars. This is another fantastic option for using your sailor loot on drinks. And obviously you can use your sailor loot towards your bar experiences around the ship, but I do wanna give two shout outs on that. One, it's not easy to find a place in general, a restaurant around the world that will serve Dom and high-end champagne by the glass. So I loved my luxurious experience of creating my own wine tasting at Sip. Or if you also like wine, the Test Kitchen has a fantastic cocktail and sommelier on board that will help you to create a cocktail pairing or a wine pairing for your meal. I love
of that experience. Obviously, there are other places around the ship. Pink Agave, for example, has an entire mezcal and tequila list. On the rocks, fantastic whiskey options. This list is very long, but drinking and using your sailor loot towards alcohol is another example of something you can do. And we will talk about events like Grog Walk, so stay tuned for that. Ooh, this next one is about getting pampered at the spa salon for not just women, but men also. But first, if you're getting some value out of this video, cheers that like button, consider subscribing. Tell me in the comments if you have a helpful tip. I have sailed eight times and I find new things all the time because you all help me in the comments. And don't forget, Forget. there's a blog post that goes with it. We have a whole Facebook group in which everyone is sharing their helpful tips and asking questions in there. Join us and make sure you get as much sailor loot as I did, depending on the length of your sailing, by checking out the link in the description below to find my man, JC, my travel agent. Let's talk about hair done, nails done, everything did, but starting with men. Stubble and Groom is a fantastic option. Meatball never misses out on the opportunity to get a fresh shave. Ooh, there is an option where they give you a whiskey. Um, and getting his hair cut. So that's an option for men. If you're a female who wants to go to the salon, I loved getting a blowout on Scarlet Night. If you want tips around that strategy, I will add it at the end of this video. But I loved getting my hair done. and. Also, don't miss out on the Thermal Suite Spa. So there's two options for the spa side of things. The first one is you can just pay with your sailor loot for a luxurious experience at the Thermal Suite Spa, getting your massage or a body treatment or a facial. Those are all options at the spa. And some of those, this is a recent change from Virgin Voyages, some of those treatments will give you free access to the Thermal Suite Spa, and some of them won't. So for example, I sailed uh, three months ago, I got a mineral massage, fantastic. The bed is made of minerals that are warmed. And when you lie down, they actually will create a little sand castle around you and the bed like almost undulates. And so you're getting a massage from the table at the same time as getting the type of massage that you like for me, a deep tissue. And that treatment gave me access to the Thermal Suite Spa because it was a higher ticketed item versus the last time I was on board a couple weeks ago, I, ju I just got a deep tissue massage, the longer version of one, but that did not give me access to the Thermal Suite Spa. So just be aware of that as you're booking. It doesn't hurt to just go there and call them or ask them um, about what it is for you. But not to be missed is the Thermal Suite Spa, which has the awesome mud room, the salt room, and all the normal things you would expect, as well as a type of body treatment if you choose to go do some service. It's awesome. Ooh, I just thought of one more. Uh, and before we gamble away our sailor loot, you can also use your sailor loot on a tattoo. But one thing I would recommend, uh, maybe get it later in your sailing. Everyone that gets them tends to get them so early. That place does book up, by the way. Um, and then they have to like care for their tattoo while they're trying to go in the ocean at Bimini or get in the pool during Scarlet Night. Anyway, just a suggestion, but you can use your sailor loot on a new tattoo. Let's jump to this next one, which is shopping. But there's a misperception that people have. And it's that they think that the amount of sailor loot that you have, your onboard credit, can only be used at the Virgin Voyages store, and that is not true. You can use it beyond the amenities store in case you forgot a razor, for example. You can use it anywhere. And so I bought a lot of different items. I bought not only a new Virgin Voyages backpack to hold my gajillion cameras when I'm walking around the ship, but also I got some new jewelry and I got some other fun items. And so you can use, oh, I also forgot lotion on this trip. So I went into the beauty store and bought really nice lotion. You can buy anything on, you want Gucci sunglasses? You can get all the things. So shopping on High Street, which is their shopping area, is open to you. And one thing that someone asked me, um, and I, you know, do you boo, but she asked me if she could haggle for things on the ship. And I don't think that's true, but if you have haggled successfully, please tell me in the comments below. I'm, I'm genuinely interested. Hmm. 
don't forget to press this button. This next one's gonna get pretty fun because it's around events and classes that you can use your Sailor Loot or onboard credit for. And I'm not talking about fitness classes and workout classes. All that stuff is included in the price of your sailing. I'm talking about things like Grog Walk. What's Grog Walk? It's an onboard bar crawl in which the Happenings cast, your cruise directors, will take you on this really fun, really social bar crawl around the ship. I talk about that more when I sailed alone. You can check out that video below. That's a really fun one. Another one I've participated in is Latria. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, Mexican bingo. That was really fun. It's held in pink agave. You get to try a bunch of tequilas and mezcals while you're playing. It's a really fun event as well. And they change over what's available all the time because they're always bringing on new talent, new entertainment on the ship. Depending on who's bo on board, they will change that around. So you might see things like champagne and fried chicken, or you might see things like the tea tasting. They used to have a coffee one. They also had rice, rice baby, which is a sushi making class. But once you are on board, that's when you will see what event lineup is available to you. And then you can use your sailor loot towards those events, but those are just a couple examples of what you might expect. Let's talk about shore things, which is Virgin Voyage's version of shore excursions when you're at port. And I actually recommend booking through Virgin Voyages. And the reason for that is in my experience, the ports have changed at the last minute. And so I will add at the end of this video an explanation of that if you're like, ooh, I, I think, because I love Viator. Um, I normally book my excursions through a third party. Um, I'll talk about that at the very end if you're interested in that. But shore things are the shore excursions and you can use your sailor loot, your onboard credit for Virgin Voyages toward that. There's so many great options. I loved oh, ATV riding through the jungle in Costa Maya. That was extremely thrilling. That was really fun. At Puerto Plata, I loved the waterfalls tour. That was really fun. We ripped down those waterfalls. Um, you can find both of those videos in the description below, but using your onboard credit towards shore things is a fantastic option. This last one is interesting to me because you could potentially use your free sailor loot that you've received without having to do anything and make a crap load of money off of it because Meatball did. He actually won a lot of money. You can use your sailor loot toward gambling. Whether you want to play the slot machines or you want to play in the casino, or in our case, you want to use your sailor loot toward buying bingo cards at Bingo with the Diva. I was really surprised. Meatball ended up winning the jackpot. <laughs> So if you take your sailor loot and you gamble with it, then whatever winnings you get from gambling or winning bingo, you have the ability to cash out on at the end of your sailing. I actually think that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not even a gambler, but winning bingo was really fun. I made him go up there just in case, you know, we were wrong and didn't have bingo. I was ready with my camera in case the diva was gonna roast him for not having bingo, but he ended up having bingo. I don't know which scenario would have been more fun or funny. Are we ready for the recap? What can you use your Virgin Voyages sailor loot for? Oh, eating. You can eat it away, all the luxury things you have available to you, drink it, go get your glass of Dom Perignon or whatever makes you happy. You also have the option to pamper yourself, whether you want to go to the salon or spa or have some kind of treatment done or get a tattoo, because why not? You can also shop your heart away on High Street or you can use it towards events and classes or go have an adventure at port and use it on a shore thing, or just go gamble it away and try to win some money back. Why not? If you have a helpful tip, add it in the comments below, blog post, Facebook group, killer deal in the description. Don't miss out on all the resources that are in there for you. I'm Christine Lozada. If you got some value out of this video, cheers that like button and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao. All right, are you ready for the bonus content? Because don't forget, I actually, add, I take the time to add chapters below so that you can jump around to the part that's relevant for you. Cause I, cheers, I respect your time. We busy people. Scarlet Knight, Scarlet Knight blowout. This is your strategy. As soon as you get on board Virgin Voyages, get on the app or just go to the salon and make your appointment for Scarlet Knight. 
the best time, in my opinion, to do it is in that like four o'clock time frame. Why? Because it allows you to get your hair done, have dinner on the other side before Scarlet Night, but enjoy the pool, get your hair dirty and wet, go enjoy Bimini or whatever was happening that day and make sure it's just at a afternoon time after you're done with activities and before you start the next part of your evening. And so for me, as soon as I got on board, th th those appointments were already booked up. They don't have that many appointments available. And especially for Scarlet Night, everyone wants to get their hair done on Scarlet Night. I also knew I needed a ton of time because I got a lot of hair and a lot of people don't think it's real, but it's real. You probably also should have brushed it today. Hmm, that's not the point. So I actually wasn't able to get the appointment time I wanted. <laughs> it booked up that quickly, which is why I'm suggesting to you, make sure it's the first things that you do. And so I had an 8 p.m. Scarlet Night blowout appointment. That's bad. Why is that bad? Because you need to be at the 9 p.m. roundabout. You need to be at the roundabout at 9 p.m., not not later than that. Why? That's when the show starts. That's when Scarlet Night starts. And that's when you start breaking out all over the sixth and seventh floors to go explore all of the things. And if you miss out on that, you kind of miss, miss the point of Scarlet Night. Anyway, get your hair done earlier. And what I did since I didn't get my appointment time was I just checked in every day. Hey, anyone cancel? No? Okay. I'll check later. Came back. Hey, anyone cancel? No? Okay. Cool, I'll check later. Someone canceled. I totally got the appointment time I wanted to, and I was at Scarlet Night with my hair done on time. A very quick tip about tipping. All gratuities are included on Virgin Voyages. You do not have to worry about it. It is not required. And even though a, a lot of people email me and they're like, you, sh you shouldn't talk about tipping. And it's like, well, why? I, I do it. It's my way of sharing my appreciation and showing my appreciation for the staff who's fantastic. Uh, so I tip. And they do, they will provide envelopes if you choose to do so, whether at the spa or at the salon. Um, if it, It's up to you. You don't have to. If you choose to, do you boo. And if you don't, do you boo. But for everyone who keeps emailing me, telling me to stop tipping the staff, yeah, you can just stop doing that because I ain't gonna stop. One person told me that, that the staff is actually getting mad at me for tipping them. And I'm like, oh, it doesn't seem that way when I'm on the ship. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> On to the next one. If you're looking to adventure at port, I personally love using Viator um, or some kind of third-party website to be able to look at more excursions beyond just the shore things. But something happened on my seventh sailing, which was they changed the ports at the last minute. I'm actually, it was frustrating for a lot of people because they're like, oh man, through, you know, through a third party, not through Virgin Voyages, they booked a, a shore excursion now like, they can't do that anymore. We're not at port that day. Um, but if you're with Virgin Voyages, then all of that stuff just transfers over and you don't have to worry about it. Um, what happened was a storm came in. And so instead of being here, then here, then here, we basically went like here, then here, then here. But it also meant that instead of like rain, 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 we got sun, sun, sun in that order. And it was an amazing trip with perfect weather. If we would have kept the original, no one could do their excursions if they were outside excursions because it was just awful conditions. And so it's just something to know that if you stick with shore things, it's easier to adjust if your itinerary adjusts. Does that mean your itinerary is gonna adjust? Maybe, maybe not, but it's just a helpful thing to know. And if you are booking through a third party, for example, when I use Viator, I make sure that I can book the 24 hours in advance. And I also make sure um, that, oh, when you're looking at them, and this is a helpful tip. Don't look at Viator recommended, look at traveler ranking. I always do it that way because I'm like, I don't really care what Viator is being paid or sponsored to say or show. I care about what travelers are seeing or the top tours to do. So that's just something to consider. Okay, I'm done. Time to finish my coffee. Bye.